Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome to the MCS Weekly Update. Episode number, I think number eight or something like that. We lost count after a while, so good to see you guys as always. This show has been awesome with your support and uh, great to see all of you. So good to see you, Felix, Carlos, Timothy, Alan, Rondell. Uh, I know I started a little bit late today. I got some pretty cool setup for you guys today. Got a bunch of bolt markers that we customize and we um, we're doing some, some limit run bolts so kind of go um, over each one for you and kind of show you what we did um, we realized that we need more variety but at the same time we want to make sure that uh, it's cool and it can work out for all type of players so welcome and good to see you guys Alan uh, Timothy good to see you Johnny Tom good to see you Damien Tuna good to see you bud Jared and if you guys going down there, Ricky Hunter, good to see you. If you guys going down to um, the 9-11, um, the ODSC event this weekend, I'll be heading down there. I'm actually leaving tomorrow. I got an event in Arizona, so I'm hanging out tomorrow morning. I'm doing a straight uh, 13, 14 hours drive, heading down there to uh, do a meeting and then have an event, and then heading down to San Diego, um, do some work there, and then head back to um, the uh, jungle paintball and be there for a few hours uh, that's it I'll probably be there about 7 o'clock in the morning to about noon or 1 o'clock and I start to head home it takes me about 5 to 5 6 hours to get back to uh, North California so it's gonna be a long drive but that's my and of course come back home on Sunday night and be back in the office by Monday morning so it's gonna be a long weekend for me um, you guys coming down there hopefully see you guys up there I'll bring some new stuff yeah, if you guys want to check out um, the shape rounds. So we're gonna have a chance to hold it, fill it, fondle, <laughs> be my guest. But I'll bring some down there for you guys to check out, and of course, uh, bring uh, some new cool uh, product down there so you guys can um, uh, can have a chance to kind of put your hands on them. Because a lot a lot of times when I go to event, people say, "Well, you know, low my local store don't carry the stuff." So I'm glad you guys out here give me the opportunity to put my hands on this product most of the times you can only see it on the screen but you never really have a chance to actually touch it fill it and um, and see what it's about so all right guys uh, good to see you any question comment concern go ahead and uh, shout out I'll make sure to address them Redman uh, good to see you bud Rondell um, Jared all right gonna play a quick video um, for you guys so you can check them out um, the, the different markers that we put together and afterward I can go over each one so you can see if you have any comments on that let me know um, Christmas time what should I be looking for to buy around Christmas time Tom uh, good question as we approach to uh, the holiday jingle I will definitely let you guys know what we're working on that way are you prepared for it uh, I'm pushing really fast right now to get the shape rounds out the box mac out and some other um, smaller project out the reason why i'm doing that is like i said i've been to a lot of these events and i noticed that a lot of players been they, they play mac fed but they kind of out they, they don't have enough firepower to play with the hopper players so they've been asking hey i, I want a box mac i want to play mac fed at the same time so when they do the investment they, they buy um a mac fed markers but they can't really play against the hopper at event but um, and they don't want to invest in the money again to buy another hopper again having two different setup doing hopper and then doing mag fed uh, a lot of them don't have the budget for it so uh, they, they want to have a box mag when they go play at a big event play with uh, hopper players they just put a uh, box mag in bum 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 you know have the firepower they need uh, on par with what's, what's going out there and then when they go to the mag fed a little bit ammo just slap them to the, you know, the 20 rounds or 30 rounds or 10 rounds uh, magazine off they go and they can actually have one uh, markers or one equipment able to accommodate both type of play so I think that's where that's how we we actually kind of stream and get more players into MacFed side get them you know the possibility of what they can do and then once they play MacFed of course it's like uh, I don't want to go back to Hopper it's a lot more fun more not more exciting a little bit more um, tactical you have to do more calculation when to shoot when to 
a reload. Should I reload now? I have only three shots left. Should I reload now? Or I'm waiting until I empty my mag out. Those kind of things that have to go through your head when you play magnet. Not just boom, boom, boom. Shoot as many as you can. Don't let the pot in. And after you go, it's a little bit different. A little, mind, a little bit different on the mindset. A little bit tactic. So, uh, like I said, it's different. That's why I'm, I'm trying to get the box man out. So that way we can um, answer the call to the players that are asking for them. All right, uh, well, let me play a quick video for you guys on on the um, uh, on the guns that we did, the custom limit run tactical bolts that we worked on. So, uh, good question, Red Man. I, I don't know about this, uh, the 30 days yet. I'm more than likely gonna do it again. And um, we probably start to do it sometime uh, like a month or two before the holidays, so that way you have plenty of time to kind of put things together. And um, a lot of guys want to shop, what's not, get the coupon going, and able to use that at the same time. So I'm gonna play, like I said, a quick video for you guys, so uh, you can see what uh, I did on the thing here. Give me a second. Let me load it up. Here we go. So this is the first one. All right, gonna switch the camera really quick, so you guys get to see it. So this is the first one we can talk about. This is the Bolt Samurai. It comes from the Samurai front sight here, flipper front sight. That's why we name it the Bolt Samurai. Quad rail system and a nice strike Viper angle four grip. You can grab right here with the isolated index finger, hold against your, um, your shoulder. The design with that is you can grab with the rifle and then you just kind of have a free hand, almost a free hand because with the design, it lets you have better control of your rifle. So if you don't have one, look around. This is a really great option to have. Of course, air in stock, but you have the option of using a rope mode line or getting an air tank in stock or at stock without the air tank to use your own air tank. The next one right here, this is called the Bolt SR, stand for short rail, seven inches long, and a Viper angle four grip right there. Okay, same same design, different um, neck strike design has different look to it, but function pretty much the same. That you kind of grip against your shoulder. Most of uh, the, the angle four grip you've seen in the past, how it just kind of give you that grip, but it doesn't give that isolating uh, index finger. So you see how you grab it. It let, let me pull the rifle against my shoulder, just one finger. Now, if I were to grip around the handguard to give you me better control and that's the base on the design of the nice strike so same joke you can get the different butt stock forward air or not the next one right here we call this the bolt Socom. of course it comes with the Socom suppressor fig i mean fake but uh mock suppressor of course and a round handguard really nice and the, the key feature on this version it comes with six inch hammerhead one shot barrel let you shoot first strike and regular box so if you want to get air and stock system you can also select air and stock system as well the cyborg m82 but stock the next one right here we kind of like this one quite a bit this is called the bolt seals and of course come with that seals looking kind of rifle uh, rail system here and of course uh, neck strike angle full grip as well and an m mk23 suppressor built right into it This one right here, we call this the Bolt Phantom because it has this Phantom handguard. It gives you that longer barrel go to the front here and the suppressor kind of mount recess inside the barrel. I'm sorry, the barrel recess inside the suppressor. So give you that um, kind of Phantom kind of look. So same, you can also have the option for the buttstock with air or um, remote line. So the last one we have right here, this is called the Bolt Sniper. Comes with a 15 inches barrel and then with a uh, mock suppressor as well. A scope option for a scope. You don't have a scope ready, you can select the scope. Uh, you don't have a scope ready, you can select the scope. Or if you already have a scope, you can use this, the one you already have. But this is the uh, the setup that we've been shooting and we uh, um, just built. So all these markers are limited run so if you guys are looking for a marker and look for something that we are custom built for you go ahead and good? order one if not once yeah. we're out that's it we're not bringing these back so ho hopefully um, one of these markers fits your uh, budget and fits your needs you guys have any question comment concern give us a shout we're able to uh, answer any question you have you want a little more customization say you want 
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, I filmed that uh, a little while ago. And we just finished building these uh, different versions. And like I said, we're, we're offering a whole different variety, kind of like beginner, but yeah, it has a beginner price, but you have that customization for a lot of players because you can, uh, a lot of uh, players now, they want you know, a little more than just uh, basic handguard and buttstock and so on. So we decided to jazz up a little bit there, add a little more accessories and give you get that um, better setup when you just starting out so for this week though oh let me scroll up some of the question here um so phantom good point louis so um it happened to be that the auction gun for this week is the phantom right here so it has this rail handguard um you have the three rails and you can actually rotate the the, the handguard to uh, the right position that you want and then you can um, secure it down and change that just real simple um, setup there and of course barrel kind of recess right I mean right through the suppressor right here and you can take it off of course it's a uh, really simple um, to uh, set this up right there you secure it where you want it and then you put it into place like I said it's uh, it's one of those markers that you, you don't have to do much you just you know rock air it up and you start playing so going on for um, okay Augusta start off at 200 bucks thank you all right hey James how's it doing um, so that's that this is one of the six markers that we just put together um, you can start to see them on the site slowly like every other day we put one up and then you can see that uh, we'll we'll put add more and more to it as we go except we're we, we're building these for a lot of players who are starting out and want uh, a little bit more uh, customization than just the basic one that we have so this is one of them and of course you can always choose the different air option that it comes with um, right off the bat of course you can use the remote line but you can have the option of air and stock and, uh, and with tank and without all right so this is the uh, bolt phantom the next one this one is already on the site already this is the uh, this right here this one is on the site already, um, was at in the day before, and people already pick, started to pick them up. This is the Bolt Samurai. It comes with a Samurai flipper front sight right here, boom. And also another flipper front sight in the back. Nice strike, angle four grip, let you kind of grip that there. Like I explained, the beauty of these grips right here, it gives you that control that you need. So what happens is when, when you're holding a rifle like this, you can actually just shoulder that. So you need to do a mag change or what you need to do. It helps you control the rifle better, maintain that position while you have their hand on the rifle. So right here, so you have your hand control. But now, your left hand or right hand depends what you do. You still have that trigger or your dominant hand still operating um, whatever you need to do while you still have control over the rifle. So this is the the Bolt Samurai. All right, the next one I have, it's similar to the Bolt Samurai. This one is built with this short rail, seven inch long, and we call this the Bolt M4SR. And it comes with the Viper angle four grip, a little bit different than the, the I'm sorry, this is a Sidewinder uh, angle four grip, different from the Viper. So same drill, you can grab with your hand in the front grip it nice and tight. If this version is a little bit similar to the Viper, um, I'm sorry, to the Samurai version, it's pretty close, so it kind of depends on what your flavor, which one you like. If you like the A-frame front sight, uh, more like an M4 base system, this is the way to go. If you want a little bit more rail, a little bit more jazzed up, the, the Samurai version is obviously another option to you think. All right, so Augustus at 250, good job, buddy. Uh, Tom, with all the projects you guys say have been worked on other than the rounds coming out, Hydro, Box Mac. Okay, so upgrade time. Um, PTR, it's actually on, um, uh, almost done. Omar's on them. Uh, supposed to be done by September. It's not done yet. It's off schedule, of course, like everything that out there. We have our deadline, we have our plan, but life get in the way and it, it's get off. So. Um, we, but we're still on it. We're still kind of looking toward that. Um, of course, that other project's still on the bench. I have the tornado. Um, next, in the next couple of weeks, I get the tornado kind of dialed in, uh, able to get start uh, releasing that. And of course, follow after that, the box mag, 
um, the live, I mean, the shape projectile, among other things. So, a bunch of projects going on, all happening at the same time. And among other things, too, you know, the, the daily operation, the shipping, receiving, putting out fire, um, and other things, too. So, a lot of things going on. Hey, John, good to see you, buddy. So, um, this right here, Tacnumal Bolt M4SR. Stand for short barrel, you wonder what SR stand for. Right, this next one here, you've probably seen this uh, in the video earlier. This is the bulk Socum. Um, we put in this Socum suppressor right here, mock suppressor, of course, and it recesses into the handguard. Comes with a six inch hammerhead one shot barrel. So you can, it, it, the, met, the idea is that you can do short, quick mission, make it compact, and of course, you can do your remote line or you can do your cyborg M82 butt stock with the tank so your choice of pleasure right there alright guys any question let me know alright next one up I, I think we're talking about yeah this this is the seals okay so the seals one is a little bit interesting uh, we kind of ran out of name after a while, we have the four or five different markers, so we call the seals. It's kind of have that Navy seals look into it, so you have the mock suppressor. A um, little bit longer than an average rifle, but it will give you that all around system that you need. So you play like a little bit long range player, you can do that, or short range, whichever that you do. This would definitely be the rifle to, um, to pick up, like I said, you have the nice short grip again. I love the extra grip and now you kind of do all kind of good stuff with it. So, you have any question on this? This is the bolt seal. Tacomo bolt seal. Alright, the final one. This one right here, we built this because a lot of new players asking us to do sniper system that shoot round balls. Not overly expensive, not kind of within the budget. So, we built this one. This one is the bolt sniper. Comes with a 15 inch smooth ball barrel. Of course, mock suppressor, like any sniper would have a mock suppressor, right? And of course, option for a scope, you have a scope right here, you can put yours on, so when you do the order, um, select, don't select the scope option. If you don't have one, you can easily select one on, just add it in there. Of course, every single of these uh, unit, custom unit, you can have the choice of internal air. And, of course, and it will come, we're gonna start to um, discontinue the old bolt blizzard adapter that goes around the um the, the sa here so in the future when you guys order all your um, your bolt and blizzard storm variants and when you select the air option it will come with a universal air adapter um rod instead of the um, the guy that goes right behind here the reason we're doing that is because we found that it's better to go do this way easy for a player to take off the tank at the same time reduce that cumbersome that we add on to it so you guys have a question on that let me know all right pin this okay john uh 260 great job bud just got in what's going on with the auction blocked tonight ha, todd <laughs> your let me run that for you one more time so um guess any question on this sniper any of the model just shout out you guys even remember what the name of it is i'll play the video again if you want to and i'll show you what's going on uh which is which eric good to see you bud yeah, I saw you order some of those parts in. Uh, are you going down to the 9-11 event, Eric? All right. Uh, all right, so, uh, Todd, this is the auction for this week. We call this the Bolt, Tacoma Bolt Phantom. It comes with the Phantom handguard right here, of course. Um, this is the, I believe, I'm not sure it's 14 or 15 inch barrel, run right through the suppressor. Suppressor actually, um, as we suss into suppressor, give you that short barrel look, but actually the barrel kind of run right through. So this is what's going on right now, and it's going for right now. Uh, John is at 260 for it. Guess any question on it? Go ahead and give it a shout. But uh, this is the one for this week. Actually, I do. You know, I have a video um, on this. I was shooting it earlier, so you guys just kind of show you guys how it works and everything. So I'm gonna switch really quick here and then play a quick video, just a little minute video for you, and you can see. Um, oh, the video on that so that way you at least got to see how it shoot on the video before uh, get you excited right all right so here we go 
um, I'm gonna switch the camera and then uh, play a quick video for you guys so you can check it out. Oh, before that, hey KT, uh, I will ready for my order Friday. Perfect, Craig. Um, I will be in San Diego Friday, so um, just message me if I can help you. Um, I will be able to answer the question for you. Need this new box mag hurricane. Box mag hurricane lock bolt definitely is the way to go. I don't know how other markers going to able to support the box mag I mean, without a lock bolt because we have known um, and understand that as a feeding system pushes the projectile up into a chamber and if the rounds is not fully chamber it will chop right in half um, perhaps that's the reason why some of these box mag have not made it out there into the world but on a mechanical system, you gotta really have some sort of eye to able to prevent that chop. Even you're looking at um, tournament markers, how projectiles being fed from a top gravity, right? It doesn't do anything. All this is just drop down round after round, just a little funnel going down, and yet it still chops. And they have to use some sort of eye system, electronic or using infrared or some sort of. Uh, mechanism to stop the bolt from from the marker from firing. So, in in our system, we have that implemented in. But I don't know how other markers are able to handle a box mag without um, some sort of device to stop the gun from firing, unless a round fluid chamber. And of course, we we have known this that the combination with the the, the hurricane with the lock bolt and the valve, the way it works, it's one of the better system when combined together. It's actually one of the best. A combination for you know for suppress fire but that doesn't that mean that other markers with lock bolt can't work right it does work but uh, as far as performance goes hurricane is, is uh, like it's probably the top all right guys uh, let me scroll down a little bit here all right so you can uh, let me uh, play real real quick for you guys on the phantom shooting so you can see what's going on Augustus 270 thank you buddy all right here goes um, with a phantom handguard it built with the, the top rail and the two side rails you can actually loosen the set screw and rotate this handguard and you can have the rail at the bottom if you want to put a little bit of a of a grips or anything else that you like to put on there it comes with a 14 inches barrel with a mock suppressor right there see how it's uh, the mock suppressor actually recess i'm sorry the barrel is recess into the mock suppressor so give you that illusion of the barrel um, it's short but actual barrel carries all the way through to the front it comes with your standard internal air when you order you have the option of putting an air tank in stock or with remote line all right guys um, so let's see how it shoots I got back Well, shoots great. All right, guys. Hope you, you like that video. So that's oh this camera. All right. Hope you like that video. Like I said, it's just a quick video. Show you guys how that gun works and a little bit features on that. Um, when is your next local event down at USPN, Rob? Um, the next event we're gonna do is actually gonna be Operation N19 at USPN. If you go to um, OEW9.com the information's there for you it's gonna be a one-day event on Saturday October 13th and um, this year we do like I said we do I don't know you guys have heard uh, but this year we're doing a little different we do a competition while the events going on so you have multiple missions it's, it's a field that you, you gotta play um, the, the, the staging area is right in the middle and around the staging area you have um, the different type of fields around there and then you have the staging area right behind it you have their store and their admin office right there I mean really you walk like 30 feet or 50 feet and you have access to everything from air to paint um, just your your gear so with that being said it, this allow us to do multiple um, scenario at the same time and let us do a competition while the event goes going on. So each team um, gonna be placed in like a tree, and you you place against other team, and you advance to the top. And so um, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna 
if you are coming as a team, you can compete as a team. So it's five on five, or you come an individual, we'll put you into a team to compete. And MCS this year, we're gonna put out five PTR to the winning team. That's like over $5,000 in price. So you guys are looking to outfit your team with PTR, come out to the event and see if you can stay in the top. And the way that we work it out is where um, each team will probably, not every team will be able to play against everybody. Uh, maybe each team can play once, but um, we're just gonna have to see how many teams shows up and then to see how fast the, the game can advance so that way we can uh, limit out that number of how many teams can compete at the same time. Um, the idea is that let multiple team plays against each other as possible so that way you get a little bit more sh of trigger time and play time so that way you have to, to um, gain your advancement as the competition goes. How much? How much for Josh? How much for the event or how much for the um, the auction? You uh, folder. We are not going, James. We're not going folder this year. Um, this year, I have three, like about two or three events left this year. Number one that's coming up is the uh, the ODSC 911 event. That's uh, actually this weekend. I'll be I'll be heading out there tomorrow. And the following right after that, I have um, the Cave Nation, and that's in uh, late September. I'm still kind of on the fence on that one. I'm, I want to go down there, but it uh, depends on what my schedule like. I'm pretty locked in. Hopefully, I don't get pulled out for any other reason. And then the last one I'll be doing for this year is, of course, Kilo 69. That's the one in Pennsylvania in October. Uh, the first weekend of October, that's the last event I'm doing in the West Coast. And of course, the final one I can't miss, which is the, the our, our annual MCS event that we are part of. Um, we support the event where this year we're not hosting it. This year, USP, USP, excuse me, U, USPN Paintball is hosting it this year at their um, at the field. So in the past, what we've done is we actually host the event ourselves. We bring out, um, and usually at uh, private property, um, the, the years past we've done it at uh, Copper Mine in Copperopolis, and we have to bring everything out there. We have to bring air, we have to bring paint, we have to bring the ref, we have to bring pretty much all the provision that's needed for the event. And uh, we could not keep up with that because it's, it's so much work and so much time away from the operation and from doing other things. So we decided to have the local field host the event and we just support them with um, like prize or something special. Like this year, we support them with the competition um, tournament, five on five tournament. So that's the idea. And hopefully next year, if this one goes well, next year we'll pick a, a local field to do it again so you know, allow us to support them to help them grow the fields um, make them see that MacFed is viable and able to bring more customers more players to the field as opposed to just you know focus so much on the, the hopper ball most field they don't really know what the potential of MacFed is because they're not exposed to they still operate like the way they did 20 or 15 years ago um, just you know, waiting for players to come and then load them up and then sell them projectile and off it goes. It's not like that anymore where our sport is losing players because we're not able to, they're not advancing. You know, they're doing the same thing uh, over and over again, 15, 20 years. It, it's not advancing, it's not you know, growing the sport, but MacFed is a whole new genre in that you know, you're, you're, you're able to cater to people that play airsoft, you're able to keep people that um, are in military, law enforcement, into firearms, into a whole different um, spectrum. Even kids or players that are doing uh, video games, right? video games are huge, you got um, millions of players playing video games and they don't, not, don't really know what MacFed is, so by uh, creating a whole genre for them and get them into the sport that will grow us and we'll have more more games. Like I said, my, my goal, my personal goal is to get um, fields to have MacBed game on a weekly basis all over the world. In other words, you, you just show up to a field and then you have a 5 on 5 or 10 on 5 because that, that many players right now, I mean, there's not that enough players to do that. So my goal is to do that, is have a 5 on 5, 10 on 5, game, five, 
5 on 5, 10 on 10 games, mag fed when just go up to any fields any given day and you have that uh, number of players to play with. Right now, you go to any fields, right? Guess what? You play with hopper bombs. You're lucky to have like five hopper players, I'm excuse, five mag fed players to, uh, to play with, let alone showing up by yourself um, and so on. So that's the idea is to have enough of us out there to have the field to support but the only way that to happen is to have the field understand the the sport understand this this side of the paintball game that we're playing all right guys any question go ahead and let me know um gotta get gas again event oh um there is i'm going to military base in arizona and i'm going there to support them with the equipment they get from us so I'm there Friday, and then um, and after that I'm heading back to um, I'm heading back to San Diego, and from there um, I'm going to um, go to the event on Sunday, and then after that I head back here. So, uh, guess on the question, let me know. McFett only fields. Uh, that's gonna be hard to do, Jared. The reason being is that most fields operate on a budget and running a business is of course you will need the customers to do that and for that to happen you have to build it correctly and I think believe that the only way for Mecca field to actually able to draw in new players is to build a CQB kind of um, setting with a mount with um, buildings and make it like as if you are in I would say, you know, who got Disneyland got it right. They have a theme park, right? So um, they have Star Wars theme parks. They have Harry Potter theme parks. They have pretty much theme park for almost everything. And what happened is when you go to that theme park, it makes you be part of the the scene part of that story. So for MacFed that to happen, I believe that we need to do that as well. We have to bring the players um, and merge them into that realm. Then. Uh, it, it draw them in there and that's how the story kind of come to life not you go to um, the fields and you using these rifles these guns but you playing with uh, inflatable bunkers or you playing with some other setting that just not immerse you into the game and it, it you know it's it's not just about um, shooting reload and um, all that it's all about where you play and how you play and uh, the, the, the scene and everything add together to have a great experience and that's what we're talking about. We're talking about uh, an experience in MacFed in the game that we're talking about. MacFed Disneyland, that's right. So you guys, um, any question go ahead and let me know. I'm gonna go over, if you guys missed the show earlier, I'm gonna go over really quick here for you guys and then I'll um, let's talk about the um, the auction then a little bit and then we'll answer any question you guys have I'll go um, I think I'll play the the video for you guys again on the different type of markers that we built on the uh, boat so um, for those that came a little bit late um, you can see what we did with the boat markers we just built like seven different markers let the new um, let the players kind of new players kind of be part of the game getting a decent looking gun without having to I sacrifice the, uh, the the budget there. Okay, so I'm gonna play video really quick. Here. So this is the first. All right, gonna switch the camera here, guys. First one we can talk about. This is the Bolt Samurai. It comes to the Samurai front sight here, flipper front sight. That's why we name it the Bolt Samurai quad rail system and a nice straight Viper angle full grip. You can grab right here with the isolated index finger, hold against your, um, your shoulder. The design with that is you can grab with the rifle and then you just kind of have a free hand, almost a free hand because with the design it lets you have better control of your rifle. So you don't have one, look around, this is a real great option to have. Of course, air in stock, but you have the option of using a rope mode line or getting an air tank in stock or a stock without the air tank to use your own air tank. The next one right here, this is called the Bolt SR, stands for short rail, 7 inches long, and a Viper angle full grip right there. Okay, same same design, different um, neck strike design has different look to it, but function pretty much the same, that you kind of grip against your shoulder. Most of uh, the, the angle full grip you've seen in the past, how it just kind of give you that grip, but it doesn't give that isolating uh, index finger, so you see how you grab it, it let, let me pull 
the right hook in my shoulder just one finger now if I were to grip around the handguard it gives me better control and that's the base on the design of the knife strike so same joke you can get the different butt stock forward air or not the next one right here we call this the bolt Sokum. of course it comes with the Sokum suppressor fake I mean fake but uh, mock suppressor of course and a round handguard really nice and the, the key feature on this version it comes with six inch hammerhead one shot barrel let you shoot first strike and regular bomb so if you want to get air and stock system you can also select the air and stock system as well the cyborg m82 but stock the next one right here we kind of like this one quite a bit this is called the bolt seals and of course come with that seals looking kind of rifle uh, rail system here and of course uh, next strike angle full grip as well and an M mk23 suppressor built right into it this one right here we call this the bolt phantom because it has this phantom handguard it gives you that longer barrel go to the front here and the suppressor kind of mount recess inside the barrel i'm sorry the barrel recess inside the suppressor so give you that um kind of phantom kind of look so same you can also have the option for the buttstock with air or uh, remote line so the last one we have right here this is called the bolt sniper comes with a 15 inches barrel and then with uh, a mock suppressor as well a scope option for a scope you have a scope ready you can select the scope uh, if you don't have a scope right you can select the scope or if you already have a scope you can use this the one you already have but this is the uh, the setup that we've been shooting and we uh, um, just built so all these markers are limited run so if you guys are looking for a marker and look for something that we are custom built for you go ahead and order one if not once we're out that's it we're not bringing these back so ho hopefully um, one of these markers fits your uh, budget and fits your needs you guys have any question comment concern give us a shout we're able to uh, answer any question you have you want a little more customization say you want uh... all right guys uh, hope you enjoy that I know that's a little bit long video but that's um, pretty much six different bolt markers that we just put together and we're gonna start to release them one at a time I think with the the bolt samurai is already on the site you can actually go in there and order it and you're able to um, we can actually build that for you some of the people are start ordering it tonight I'm gonna put up some other ones um, and then we can just release them um, one each day for the next couple of days until the full six are out like I said we're, we've been getting a lot of requests for a little bit upgrade markers but at the beginner kind of budget price there so uh, again if you guys any of the markers you want to need some upgrade change or something like that let us know when we'll actually customize it for you for ship mount not just kind of okay this this is this all that it is no you just let us know when we'll change the butt stock when we'll change the barrel when we'll add in um, scope sight mount pretty much anything you like um, you just uh, uh, tell us what you like and we can build for you all right uh, my hands on the five kits um, okay uh, tuna just message me I'll take it out for you are you planning to sell the barrel ring on by themselves the um, on that Kevin it's a little bit different you gotta call contact us and, and, and let us know what you need and then we'll get you the parts the reason being is that it's not as simple as just buying a cap you need to have the compatible handguard for example um, the, the, the the back cap that we have, it's only work with uh, Magpul MOE handguard or the handguard that we have. So if you buy one of our caps and you decide to put on an M4 handguard made by um, Tapco or made by another company, then it would not work. Then you need another different cap. So um, the, you have to let us know which handguard you're putting on so that we get you the appropriate caps um, so they can install it. Otherwise, we just set a cap and then. Um, people just go ahead and order a cap thinking it work and everything under the sun. It doesn't work everything under the sun. Um, each one of those company they made it differently and to com to make it compatible to TMC is a challenge. So some something about when you um, when you want to get that part. Uh, six state shape projectile pistol. 
Um, Timothy, that's the pistol we've been working on for some time now. It's not have advanced yet. We're working to get the ship round out first and some other project out. Ship round, uh, box mag, the tornado, and some other project out first before we go back to the pistol. We want to make sure we have all these things in place before we start cranking out the pistol. Otherwise, what happens is that you have incompatibility issues. We want to make sure um, to get the projectile before we get the launcher. Otherwise, uh, like I said, it's a whole new system, whole new valve. We'll make sure that the, the the projectile are great and able to work with the current platform before we go and then make one that, that whole new valve system that compatible to it. Otherwise, when we make it and then it's not compatible, you know, it may not work for us. Just with my hands, on the, um, MSR round tuna definitely. It's right now where uh, I think I, I spoke last week that we have to kind of work on the dry band the dry band a little bit off um, we realized that we have perfect shell now but the dry band is it's kind of something like shift to the left shift to the right so we have to go back and redo the dry band it's it's actually one of the final thing we need to do before we start cranking it up all right so tornado yeah timothy the tornado is the x7 classic um conversion kit so if you are looking to bring those X7 classic back into circulation I know a lot of us have there in the closet somewhere and you bring that uh, into uh, the game there'd be like thousands um, hundreds of thousands of those markers out there that just collecting dust that's the reason why we are looking to bring those marker back into the field bring give them a conversion kit and I have to just gut it out, transfer the component over. It's kind of like the A5, X7, and the bolt version that we have. Um, let players convert the markers. So a lot of times, you know, they, they, it's hard to find a reason to buy another marker, right? So uh, a lot of budget players, you know, they, they have a marker, right? Oh, I don't want to buy another one. But when they're getting an upgrade, it's easier of an, um, a move. You know, like say you tell your girlfriend, your spouse, you know, I want to buy another marker. They can say, well, you already have one. Why do you need another one? Um, it's an easier explanation to say, well, it's not another one, it's just an upgrade. But so it's, um, except for the budget players and for those who want to get back in the sport, give them more reason to make that move and therefore have more place on the field. That's what we're going for. And the AK-12, it's actual built, I'm sorry, the Tornado is actual built off the AK-12. So you have an AK platform into the arsenal that we already have. Currently, there's really lack on, 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 the, um, on the AK. We're going to have a lot of M4, M4 base, more like the Black Rifle, M16, kind of that realm. So that's the reason why we're doing the uh, the Tornado, an AK-12 variant, allow you to use the current uh, accessory you already have. Of course, we have AK accessories already, so it's pretty much a seamless transition into what we're currently doing. All right, guys. Any news on a Peter upgrade? Um, Omar, Alex, Omar is a little behind schedule. I spoke to him a few days ago. I'll probably kind of call him again before I leave the office here. Um, getting an update on what's going with that. I mean, he definitely a little bit off, but um, he's on it, and we want to get that project going. All right. Oh, man. Um, you guys, any question on the, um, the auction this week? This is pretty much last call. I'm gonna, gonna talk about this. Um, we're gonna end the auction about 6:10. You have 13 minutes to um, bid on it if you want to. So this is this week auction. This is the Bolt Phantom, of course, built with the Phantom handguard, Mark suppressor, 15 or 16 inch uh, barrel. I'm not real 100 sure. We'll get the me exact measurement for you when we put it up. But um, you get uh, pretty much everything you see here. Air internal air system. You want to put an air in stock when you are the winner. You let us know, and we will uh, upgrade that for you. Of course, you have to buy the tank, but we'll, we'll switch the tank for you, and then get you um, the appropriate apparatus for you to attach a tank on. So, um, if you're going for that, let us know, and then we will um, put it together for you. So, uh, right now, Augustus at 270. So you have any want to take off his hand? You got to beat him for it. So. Right now, 270 Bolt Phantom. Last call for it, so we're gonna end the the, uh, the, um, the auction at 610. I'll go for AK-12. Actually, it's a great platform. It's kind of like the modern version of the AK-47. It has a top rail, lets you attach sight scope, 
and pretty much anything that you want to attach on unlike the um, the previous AK from the the old version where it has the, the the rail on the top is kind of like a dome curvature shape which you can't add anything on if you do want to add on you have to add this funky uh, mount adapter it's going to side to like go up on the side and then onto the on, onto the top so that way you can mount it on it's really cumbersome um, you guys seen it out there uh, it's out there somewhere but definitely you are looking to getting that rail system it's on the AK-12 and of course it worked with pretty much any of the uh, accessories out there on the Phenom and on the X7 Classic. If you have X7 Classic accessory, all you have to do is just plug and play. You, If you want to use your electronic trigger, plug and play. You want to use your response trigger, plug and play. The rail, the handguard you have, plug and play. Buttstock, pretty much the same. Um, of course, internal air system. You have the internal air system you already have on your X7 Classic. It just runs right through the back. Same accessory. Pretty much everything across the board, kind of like the Tip 98 and uh, that built on the Blizzard, and have your Tip 85 built on the Vortex, and your BT built on the the Bolt version. So, are you looking to um, get that conversion kit on the X1 Classic? It's coming. I'm hoping next, um, if not next week, then following week, I will start to put out the R&D video that I did on throughout the process of design that marker and uh, you can check them out. There's a really great feature that I made onto the Vortex and when you guys see it, you're gonna be real surprised why it took so long. Well, it takes a while to come up with that idea. It takes a while to execute it. You know, idea's easy, but um, executing the idea makes sure that the concept work and making sure that it's actually functional. It takes some time. You have to make the drawing, you have to make the, the prototype, you have to test it and then making it, that's a whole different um, realm there. But it has a real new, fe real great features. Hopefully you guys will love it when I show it to you. All right, guys, um, is there gonna be one for the Vortex 2? Um, one for what on the Vortex, Augustus? A um, little more details on that so I can answer that for you. What's the barrel? This barrel, um, it's just a smooth ball barrel. It's a Raptor barrel. Uh, the Raptor barrel has like, two steps, so the base of the barrel is an inch and then it has a step down become um, 7 8 um, from the midsection to the muzzle um, thread. So that's that's what we call the Raptor barrel. And when it's one single profile from front to back, we call that recon barrel. And we have two versions of that. We have a 7 8 recon barrel and then we have the 1 inch recon barrel. So it depends on which one. James, um, shotgun. The current shotgun, if you're asking about the current one, we have the MK23, MK I'm sorry, what is it, MK, the MK, MK2 um, shotguns are on the site. We kind of took them off, we could not, it would support them. Um, they're not as reliable as we want them to. They're, uh, depends on the, on the user, if you know how to work with the, the system, how to charge it, how to work on them, they're great. but. A lot of times when we go to event, a uh, player asked me to work on that, I could not support them. So um, we don't have the parts because we're not really the one to actually manufacture them. So we kind of take them off the shelf at the moment. But we are, we do have a shotgun um, that we've been working for a long time, but we have not gotten back to it yet. I don't think that we're, it's out of the way yet. We want to get some of these um, current projects, projects out first before we get back to that. Oh, uh, I am trying to make my Vortex um, close AK as much as possible. Will AK-12 version for Vortex? Actually, no, Augustus. AK-12, um, the reason why we built AK-12 because it's actually, we, we built the, the, the whole platform around an AK rather than built the AK, um, the, the marker into that. So. Uh, on a Vortex, if you want to turn to AK, you can actually just get the um, AK-47 barrel kit, and then you can get the buttstock for it. You can your, the platform is already there, so you can actually pick that up right now. If you want to turn that into AK? You search on the site Vortex AK-47, it will come right up. Um, there's a barrel kit. There's a wood buttstock. You just slap it on and plug and play. It's a uh, it's it's an easy upgrade. But for AK-12, it's a little bit different. We actually built um, with the barrel, um, I'm sorry, the integrated magwell that has the release paddle, you can just quickly release it and off it goes, and among other 
um, accessories that we built specifically to give you the AK Tron look. Do you void warranty if you weld the Allen key to the handle? <laughs> um, Peter, I am not 100% sure on that. Um, if you are, uh, you may want to contact um, uh, Yomex on that. They have the information, but I don't think there's an issue unless they have a problem with that. I would contact them. Other than that, you know what? If you're really concerned about that, uh, get like a, a band, uh, a grip cover, put a cover on there, and you will that will, that thing won't come off at the same time. You will not worry about the um, the way that for the warranty at the same time. So that might be an option for you to do that. But like I said, if most of the time when on the on the on the um, on the PPQ, if you are doing a reload, so you, you wrap grab the pistol like you're gonna shoot it um, around the grip and you do a reload like right there it'll be fine we're not gonna go nowhere unless you know you drop it or something but that's another story right you don't want to drop these things you drop it more likely you you're probably gonna mess it up in some way with a barrel or some part of it will not gonna survive if you drop it like most markers that we have um, if you drop it, more than likely something will happen. The the only known marker that we know that can handle dropping stuff is a 468. And you guys seen some of those videos that we did on the torture test. We ran over it, we drop it. Of course, cosmetically, um, you kind of lose that new look. But as far as functionality wise, it will still functional. Some little cosmetic, maybe sight brakes or charging handle bent, and among other things. But you know, functionality, it's still rock solid. You, if you have not seen the video, uh, go to the MCS page and check it out in video. Guys, if you guys like the show, if you can, go ahead and uh, share the video on your page there. Let more people know about the show. Um, so that way more people can have access to the information that we're doing. So it can join the sport and grow um, on what we're currently doing. So you can do that, be great. Um, just share the page like it or share the video share this live stream if you have a chance So that way you can get the word out there for new players who want to get more information on what we're doing All right, yeah grip the page James. Yeah grip the page grip it up um, Tape it up. It's fine too. Like I said, there's a band. Um, there's some company or even um, bicycle tube, right? You get those um, Leak whatever bicycle tube that you're not using it. just cut a little section wrap it over it be worked perfectly I see a lot of play do that and it's a, a perfect grip for you of course like I said your uh, if you grip it like you're gonna fire it like handle like how you do a reload should be it will never come off but then again um, I've seen people where they kind of hold it with their finger like this trying to reload of course your, your grip will pop out but you're not gonna do that anyway him of course uh, you guess uh, if you're gonna do I have do have some of these going on um, at the same time I get these um, holster with the MCS logo on with or without on the site available you guys looking for a PPQ holster and of course this right here um, Punisher kind of two color tone um, holster too available for you if you're looking for it you guys go to an event uh, these will be available there too these holster right here made by Bear Kydex Tactical they're really option by you know they, it's a company um, Formed by a group of uh, veterans, they make really, really, really good holsters. Every single edge, you guys have one of these. Every single edge is honed and polished. Um, every, it's like, it's a, probably one of the best holsters out there. So you guys want to get hold of this? Get, you know, get on the site. And it's available for you. Ask them if you guys uh, check on Bear Kydex. Ask them. Some of them, um, they do have this adjustable knob version, or you can get a screw, or whatever. Add a knob in there. And then you can able to add uh, uh, adjustable, so you can control the tension that it has in there. So you know you won't come out rather than. So you can put your rig right here, your chest pull. You can put on your your thigh if you, if you have a thigh rig. So you can put your belt, and you can just kind of able to handle your PPQ easily. All right, guys. Uh, any question? Uh, we're almost at the end here. Two more minutes to the end of the show. Good idea. Um, bicycle tube. Yeah, that's right. Uh, use uh, do those come for tip X yes Alex uh, tip X is available on the site made by care uh, bear Kydex tactical too you want to grab one up um, it's on the site you can just order them and get that for you all right guys um, a lot of great things coming out if you guys know anybody who want to participate into our sports just get onto a website 
get whole um, get them whole get whole one one of ambassador and they will have a loan marker for them. They even have markers that we don't carry like other brands, um, Music and um, uh, Tiberius and other markers that's out there that's available. They can actually um, loan to them. They can see how it's like before they actually buy it. Like I said, I said most of the time. It's you gotta feel the product, try it out, and before you like it. But uh, you know you don't want just them just go buy some stuff and they don't like it become just paperweight. They don't they hate the sport and then you're losing a great player, ruin opportunity to actually get more play on the field. So get them to try the product first, see what they like, what they don't like. That way there's no investment for them. Um, when they do invest, get them to you know get what they like. Not like a lot of times people just buy this, buy that. I don't really believe in that. I believe that you gotta. Put your hands on it and get a product that that you get the support. Um, that's why we we push these markers a lot because these are tipman based system and pretty much every field, every paintball store have tipman parts, um, valve, screws, O-ring, seals. Every store, every field that there's a tech that knows how to work on these markers. So um, our, I mean these bolts right here, bolt, blizzard, vortex, and soon. Uh, tornado share the same part as uh, Tipman so you guys um, have Tipman parts you're able to service on your own and pretty much the knowledge base is out there you can get a lot of support so if a new player is getting to the sport I recommend getting one of these it's easy to service repair easy to clean you know just really push out the pin here pull it out there you go you have access to your chamber your bridge clean search what you need to do and you don't have to worry about you know using screws and you know spending the time to take it apart of course you do uh, it depends on the problem but uh, on the most maintenance stuff simple all right guys congratulations augustus uh you are the new owner of this tackle bolt phantom congratulations you'll enjoy this uh, this one i mean like i said i shot earlier it's a great markers all right guys um any ambassador in uh, nebraska t uh todd i'm not sure go to the, the site go to under uh, resources and then click on ambassadors there are uh, quite a few of them out there if there's no one nearby um, recommend finding someone close by so that they can um, support you but the idea is that we're our ambassador they, they don't have just our markers they have pretty much every brand out there and what we want to do is we want to support them so that way they can um, support other players we give them the tools the parts uh, loaners if they want to do a loaner fleet so it can land out the new players who want to try them but uh, a lot of them don't, they don't run exclusively our, our stuff our product like well that's the like I said the, the idea is that um, get as many gears to players as possible so that way they can have to try it out and get more support on their wear like I said, I, I said many times we're not like other um, company organization where they kind of make the players or the sponsor team or their their ambassadors use only the product um, we're trying to be inclusive get everybody on board and get more players on there get, get, get the players the support they need like I said when I go to an event that's what I'm there for make sure that you stay on the field not off the field right all right guys um, pretty much that it for this week you guys have any question comment concern let me know you can contact me directly you can email me directly kt at mcsus.com you can Facebook message me directly and I will support you if you have um, need something right away go to our site um, there is a chat function there just click on it and just type in message and if we're not able to answer it for you right away just put in your email address phone number whatever you want and then we can get on it to you as soon as we can but uh, you know you are you have direct access to me direct access to all of us over here and you hear anybody have any problems at all whether uh, for any reason I don't this matter just have them contact us or um, do me a favor um, contact me for them if you can and then I will able to hop on and take care for them sometimes I don't I'm not able to access on the floor and not able to reach to the to the players my ears not everywhere right so um, you guys help me with that I'll be appreciated to get them out there for you guys so um, and, and support these players that need help. All right, guys, thank you so much for being part of the show. Uh, been great to have you here. Appreciate it. Um, thanks for enjoying. I mean, <laughs> thank you for uh, being uh, part of the show uh, every week, and hopefully see you guys out there. Thank you. See you guys.